Hello there everybody, today I've got a very exciting video I'm actually doing a massive Mandalorian Season 2 minifigure showcase Now I've done one before and that video did very well But I didn't do that many characters so I've got way more characters this time Including Cobb Vanth, Ahsoka and just other characters So I'm actually really looking forward to this showcase and let's get started And before I start, quick disclaimer I don't have the Mandalorian or Grogu figure Neither do I have the Grief Cargo figure or a Cara Dune. So these are just figures I've made. I don't actually have those main Mandalorian characters, which is annoying, but these just are like these are just side characters from the Mandalorian if you think about it. At the front we've got my favourite Star Wars character, Boba Fett, Morph Gideon, Dark Trooper, just a regular Imperial Stormtrooper. I use the Rebel Stormtrooper. Um, I could have used the, the new Stormtrooper, but I really don't like this helmet, so I went with that, the old one. Um, we've got Fennec Shand, that guy, the the Rebel Trooper, um, the pilot, I can't remember his name. Then we've got Cobb Vanth. Now, I've done customs for all of these at the front, and you can see those customs on this video, which should appear any second now. Um, but Cobb Vanth, I changed slightly. This is Cobb Vanth wearing his red rather than wearing the Boba Fett armor. And to build this, you need the hair from Old Han, the head from Star Lord, the torso from Zori Bliss, and then the legs from Old Han Solo. Um, I think this minifigure looks really cool. But this is him without the Boba Fett armor. Then moving up to the second row, we have this Imperial officer. This is the Imperial officer that. Um, Mayfeld shoots during chapters, chapter 15, he's the one who talks about Operation Cinder and it's just a not very nice officer, it's him. Then we've got Mayfeld in his prison outfit, bo the magistrate from that one episode, I um, can't remember the chapter number, I think it was chapter 13. Then we've got Ahsoka, then we've got Boba without the armour, so it's him on Tatooine. Then we've got one of the Mon Calamari fishermen people that helps prepare the Razor Crest. We've got a Tuscan Raider and we've got the female officer that works for Moff Gideon. I don't know her name, but she was in a few episodes. And then right at the back, we've got everyone's favourite character, Luke Skywalker. And you can just about make out after you do to here. So, yeah, I'm going to just talk about a few of the characters. And I might accidentally knock over the characters during the video. I'm sorry if that happens. Um, I need to figure out a better way to stack these characters. Okay, so we'll start off with, so we've done Cobb Vamp, next we'll move on to this, this guy. Um, to build him, I just got a normal officer, and I swapped out the head for the old Han head. I think that's a really good use of pieces, because obviously using the Han pieces for Cobb Vamp, so you can just use the head for this guy. Try him back carefully. Next we have Mayfeld in his prison outfit. For the prison outfit, I got this torso and legs from one of the Exo 4 sets. And that's quite an old theme, but you could just use an Arkham Asylum jumpsuit if you don't have that. And then for the head, I used the Thor head from the Infinity War set and just gave him a pair of handcuffs. bo I've already done a custom tutorial for, and that tutorial was in the other video, which should be linked somewhere. Then we've got the Magistrate character, let's pull her out. Now for her hands, I actually used the hands for the Palpatine minifigure. Uh, that's why they're like this, because I use this torso for my Palpatine minifig and I don't like having to swap hands a continuous number of times. So just forget those hands are there, just, just block them for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, but if, if, if I wasn't so lazy, I'd swap out those hands for the same colour flesh as this, the tan colour. So I used the dress piece and the torso from Jafar, and it would have those brown hands, but I didn't use them. Then I just gave her a silver spear for the best scar spear. The head is from Idenversio from the Inferno Squad Battle Pack, and the hair is Ray's hair. I actually really like how this custom came out. Let's put her back carefully without knocking everyone over. Ivy, yeah, I've had a few accidents with this um, setup already today. Next we have Ahsoka. Now, I'm not a very big fan of this, show, this figure, but you'll just see anyway. This torso is from Asajj Ventress. The legs are from Ray from episode 8, um, this Ray minifigure from the end of the movie. Um, you can also use the torso from that one, I think that's also good. But I don't want to have to pop out her arms and replace them with the orange because I don't want to damage the torso. And I really like this minifigure, so that's why I didn't use this one. Um, 
and then if I would, I would have given her orange arms. I think there's one, there's some jewel molded arms which are orange on the top, black on the bottom. I would have used those, but I don't have those. Um, torso of Sarge Ventress, legs are from Ray. I gave her a Sarge's lightsabers, and I put a white blade on it. I only could find this one white blade, but if I had two, I would have done two. Head and hair are from, well not hair, but whatever these are called. They're from the Ahsoka minifigure from Clone Wars. And yeah, that's Ahsoka. Um, oh wait, oh, it's happening again. Okay, um, next we move on to the female officer. I don't know her name, but I just used a normal officer outfit and then just gave her the head from Scarlet Witch or Supergirl. This Boba minifigure I've done a custom for already and that should be linked somewhere. Then we've got a Tuscan Raider which is an ordinary Lego figure, R2D2 which is the ordinary Lego one, Luke which is a custom which I will also link, and next we have this Fisherman, Mon Calamari, Philip Fisherman. Oh, um, yeah, I really don't want that to happen, but let's just zoom in for this one. Um, for the Fisherman I use the torso and legs from the Fisherman minifigure from Lego City, and I just gave him the head from and Nadal Veb, which is the Mon Calamari Jedi. Um, I'd recommend using the Admiral Rider's head instead, as that's got darker brown, but I don't have that, so I use this orangey coloured brown. So yeah, that's my minifigure showcase. I knocked over some minifigures, I'll fix that now. But I hope you enjoyed this, and there are obviously minifigures I wanted to make that I don't have the parts for, but I'll try and make that video soon with a, pretty much a Mandalorian showcase part 2. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, this is the way.